Hey everyone, it's Dave and Deb here, and today we're doing something a little bit different because we've been getting a lot of questions about the adventure passes in Niagara Falls. Now Dave and I, we go to Niagara Falls once a year at least, more likely three to four times a year because we only live an hour away from the falls and it's our favorite destination here in Ontario, Canada. Yeah, and we did cover uh, the Clifton Hill Pass, so you can check out that video, but that spurned a ton of questions about the Adventure Pass. That's what we're here to explain to you today. Now the Adventure Pass comes with three different options. You have the Adventure Pass Classic, you have the Niagara Falls Pass, and the Adventure Pass Plus. So we're gonna cover each different pass and what you see uh, with each one. And we have links in the description below so you can purchase them if you're planning to go to Niagara Falls soon. So we're gonna start with the Adventure Pass Classic. So the Adventure Pass Classic is the one you want to look at getting if you're just visiting for a short amount of time, maybe just one day. It includes Journey Behind the Falls, it includes the Whitewater Walk, as well as Niagara's Fury, and access to a two-day WeGo Pass. These are great adventures to give you a little taste of Niagara and leave space for you to do some other adventures, maybe on Clifton Hill or take a helicopter ride or a zip line or head out to Niagara on the lake. So you'll get a taste of Niagara Falls and it only costs you $59 Canadian. So what kind of savings do you actually get? Well, the Adventure Pass itself is worth $59 or costs $59, but if you were to buy everything individually, it would cost you $73. So you're getting a really good savings there. So let's take a look at the attractions included in the Adventure Pass Classic. This is the cheapest of the passes and has the least amount of attractions included. So with your Adventure Pass, you get access to the WeGo Network, which is a bunch of different lines that takes you all around Niagara Falls. The WeGo Transportation System is a climate-controlled bus that takes you to all the popular attractions, including Lundy's Lane, Clifton Hill, the Falls View area, and along the Niagara Parkway. It's the best way to get around without having to pay for parking, and they drop you off right in front of the hotels and attractions. Journey Behind the Falls is included in all three passes and it's a great place to start. When doing Journey Behind the Falls, you descend 125 feet by elevator to explore the 130 year old tunnels under the Horseshoe Falls. After exploring the tunnels at your leisure, make sure to go outside to the open observation deck to see the falls crash right down before your eyes. Well, this is it. Look at the power behind me here. This is incredible. We are at Journey Behind the Falls and the horn blower is going behind me right now, right into the center of the falls. There is nothing like it. The horn blower is not included in any Niagara Falls passes, but it is such an iconic trip that we highly recommend doing it. Also known as the Maid of the Mist on the American side, horn blower costs $32.75 and is a great addition to the Classic Pass. As between this, Journey Behind the Falls and the Whitewater Walk, you really get a feel for the power and beauty of Niagara Falls. So if you're coming down to do the horn blower, it's a quick 20 minutes out and back, but man, it's a lot of fun. Located at the Table Rock Center in the same building as Journey Behind the Falls is Niagara's Fury. It's a 20 minute 4D movie telling the history of Niagara Falls. We spent more time waiting in line for the show to start than watching the actual movie, but if you're not in a hurry, it's an okay attraction to see, especially since it's included in all the passes. This is also the place to see that classic view of Niagara Falls cascading from above. After that, it's a great spot to grab lunch or a quick snack before moving on to your next adventure. The WeGo bus is located right at the Table Rock Center, so we hopped aboard and made our way to the next attraction included in the pass, Whitewater Walk. 
Our next adventure is the White Water Walk. We're going to see what it feels like to walk beside Class 6 Rapids. This is included in your Niagara Adventure Pass. This self-guided tour takes you 70 meters or 229 feet down an elevator where you walk through a tunnel to emerge at a boardwalk that takes you right beside North America's largest series of standing waves. The boardwalk is 305 meters long or about a quarter mile one way and you can spend as long as you would like out there. There are signs giving information about the gorge, two observation areas and it's wheelchair accessible. Now let's move on to the next pass to see what's included. The Niagara Falls Pass is the one that we usually get when we go to Niagara Falls. I think it's perfect if you have a full day, maybe a day and a half in Niagara. You can see a lot of the highlights for one package price. The Niagara Falls Pass costs $79 Canadian plus tax. So what's included in the Niagara Falls Pass is the journey behind the falls the new Niagara Parks Power Station, which we highly recommend, uh, the Whitewater Walk, the Whirlpool Aero Car, Niagara's Fury, as well as the Two Days Falls Incline Railway and a Two Day Wego Pass. The Whirlpool Aero Car is a really cool attraction that takes you out to about halfway to Niagara on the lake, so you'll get to see a little bit of the Niagara Parkway as well. Yeah, just imagine being right over top of the rapids of the Niagara River and looking down. It really gives you a great sense of just how powerful the water that's coming from Niagara Falls is. And I love that they've added the power station to this pass because this is one of the coolest attractions. We just did that for the first time this summer and it's really awesome. The Niagara Power Station was in use from 1905 to 2006. It was the largest power station of its kind in the entire world. And we are going to go take a tour to see how they harnessed all of this incredible energy from Horseshoe Falls. Entry is included with the purchase of the Adventure Pass Plus or it's $20 to enter on a self-guided tour. Visitors descend 180 feet to walk the 2,200 foot long tunnel to the river's edge. So this is one of the coolest attractions in Niagara Falls. We are 180 feet down. We're going to be going over 2,000 feet into the tunnel. <laughs> Water once flowed through here to create hydroelectricity, but today you can experience this feat of engineering firsthand all while keeping dry as you learn all about it at the interactive displays. This is totally awesome coming out to the tunnel here. It's one of the best views of the Horseshoe Falls and the American Falls and Bridalville Falls that I have ever seen. Now the Niagara Falls Pass itself, it's $79, but if you wanted to do everything individually, that would cost you $150. So you're saving almost 50%. Now let's talk about the Adventure Pass Plus. This is perfect if you're visiting Niagara Falls for two days or a weekend or anything like that, because it gives you access to the most amount of attractions for the best price. This is highly recommended if you have two or three days in Niagara Falls because it also takes you out to Niagara-on-the-Lake. Niagara-on-the-Lake is a tourist attraction in its own right. It's a very picturesque village with horse-drawn carriages and historic buildings and you're in the heart of wine country. So the Adventure Pass Plus includes everything you get in the Niagara Falls Pass plus the floral showcase as well as four different heritage sites and a Niagara-on-the-Lake shuttle that takes you down if you want to go and do some wine tasting or just visit Niagara-on-the-Lake. And don't forget the Butterfly Conservatory. That is one of my favorite places to visit in Niagara Falls. Yeah, this is a real steal at $99 Canadian. If you're looking to escape the busyness of uh, Niagara Falls, make sure you come over to the Butterfly Conservatory, the Botanical Gardens, as well as the Floral Clock. You can get out here on the Wee Bus, or if you're driving, you can just sort of take your time, uh, stop in and check it out. It's really nice and relaxing. 
You walk into a climate controlled building that feels like you are in the tropical rainforest and butterflies are just everywhere. They'll land on you. It's just a really special place. And finally, the Adventure Pass Plus at $99 plus tax is the ultimate value because if you put all those together and wanted to buy individual tickets, it would cost you $214. So that's a 53% savings. So that's the one where you're gonna save the most money and the best value if you're there for a weekend. As you can see, you can really save some money in Niagara Falls. A lot of people think it's very expensive, but if you buy these adventure passes and you really take advantage of the savings, you can do a lot on a small budget. Yeah, it is. Niagara Falls really is a well-oiled machine. So uh, between the WeGo bus, as well as all the advent different adventure passes and all the attractions, you can do everything in a weekend. Uh, or, you know, see a lot in just one day. So we do highly recommend grabbing yourself an Adventure Pass or a Niagara Falls Pass or the Adventure Pass Plus because all of them have great value. If you combine your Adventure Pass with your Clifton Hill Pass, which we reviewed in another video, you can check in the links below, you'll really have the ultimate savings because you'll be able to do almost everything in Niagara Falls for less than $200. So if you want to stay somewhere in Niagara Falls on a budget, get away from the falls and go up to the far end of Clifton Hill in the Lundy's Lane area. There's Days Inn and Comforts Inn and travel lodges. Plus these smaller hotels don't have that crazy tourism fee that all of the other hotels near the falls have. So beware when you do stay at one of these hotels, major chain hotels, that you're going to have an extra resort fee put on there per night. I would make sure that when you book, you ask exactly what the resort fee is so that there's no surprises at the end. And if you want to know some other great things to do in Niagara Falls, because there is a lot, uh, make sure to check out our video where we talk about all the best things to do in Niagara Falls. So you can do the stuff on the Adventure Pass, but if you're there for a little bit long, we do highly recommend adding in a few other things as well. So that's a good breakdown and explanation of the Adventure Pass in Niagara Falls and all the different options, what it costs, as well as what kind of savings you're getting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell for notifications because we put up new travel videos every week. See you next time. Ciao for now.